Table for two, table for two. Having fun, playing games, just me and you. Welcome to the Table for Two show. I'm Jane. I'm Santa. I, I'm Phil. <laughs> Dressed like Santa. Santa. <laughs> At least I have just a cute little reindeer shirt on today. I like that. Yeah. At least you wear the hat I made you wear. <laughs> It's probably going to fall off during the show. Just saying. So happy holidays, everybody. Today mm-hmm. is Sunday, and actually Christmas is in a couple of days, which is what we celebrate. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for tonight, Hanukkah starts. Yes. So happy Hanukkah to all my Jewish family and friends. And then Kwanzaa starts on the 26th, I believe. I think this so. Year. Yep. And I'm not sure what other holidays there are, and I apologize. I should know all of them, uh, but I don't. Um, so whatever you celebrate, um, happy and merry everything. Yes. <laughs> With that being said, though, we need to celebrate, too. All right. So let's have a drink. Hmm. Let's see, what do we have. Wow, here? this stuff is really, really. Oh, look how thick it is. <laughs> oh wow. Wait, wait. Don't drink it yet. Ugh. It smells good. This is all right. Go ahead for sure. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! That's strong. Mama. I taste some cinnamon. Yeah. A, a couple of weeks ago, remember we did the pumpkin spice eggnog? Yes. Same company. This is Old New England again, but this is cinnamon spice. This is like the traditional. Yeah. Woo! It's traditional good. eggnog. Wow. Yeah, I like that. That is some serious alcohol. Mm-hmm. Here we go, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now we could act stupid and have no good excuses. <laughs> you know what? Though? It looks like a glass of milk. Sure. But that being said, I'm just having milk. <laughs> here's some cookies to go with your milk. Okay. These are Mrs. Fields cookies. Now, by the way, not a sponsor. Nobody sponsors us. We're not as cool as some of the people out there today. But these are Mrs. Fields Christmas cookies. We got them in a big bunch. Mm-hmm. And they're... <gasps> Look how cute. Oh, yeah. They're tiny, epic cookies. <laughs> okay, so that was too much. Right, anyway, because today we're yes. going to be looking at tiny, epic tactics. That was good. To go with the cookie. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ooh. Mrs. Field. That's a good cookie. I love you, Mrs. Field. All right. That's about, I don't know how many calories this one freaking cookie is. Probably like way too many. I, I have no egg idea. Mog, egg nog's probably way more. <laughs> the egg mog. See, I'm ready sure. to drink Egg mog. Okay. Okay. So, Tiny Epic Tactics. We mm-hmm. just got this game, like this week. It was a Kickstarter we did. Yep. And we didn't do it. We thought. Um, and it just got mailed to us. So I thought, well, why not? Let's play it on the show. Um, we've played a lot of Tiny Epic games in the past. That's mm-hmm. why we, we went for this. Um, as a matter of fact, below you'll see the link as normal for the picture review, so you can see the pictures close up of, of us playing the game. Yep. But for fun, I'll also throw another link in there. I don't know, maybe a year ago. i got to see when it was. But we also did Tiny Epic Zombies on a, on a mini review a while mm-hmm. ago, so that's another one of the Tiny Epic games you might want to take a look at. So yeah. we'll put both links down there just to show you. But this one was really cool. What's really cool about Tiny Epic Games is, well, they're tiny, right? <laughs> it's a little tiny box, and you'd be, you'd be yep. surprised how much is in this box. So. Mm-hmm. First of all, the game board. <laughs> like, what's that, a handkerchief? Phew! <laughs> Put in your pocket. <laughs> this is the game board. Look how cute. Yep, it's literally a cool. piece of fabric, but it's, mm-hmm. you'll say, oh, that's cheap. It's not. It's a really nice fabric. Yeah, it's actually, nice. I could wear, if it was longer, I'd wear it as a scarf. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. But the thing is, when you put that on the table, and you'll see in the pictures, so no panic, if we should not see in the pictures. But then the box, it's, it's the bottom of the box. Right, and inside like little compartments to put all of your, you know, pieces and things. Mm-hmm. But the pieces and the the components that you put in, look, they come out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, oh, there goes one on the floor. We'll get it there later. There goes one. <laughs> but this actually becomes part of the board. Yeah. So you, you know, you basically do, well, it's not how well it actually works, right. but it's a three D board. So you're mm-hmm. putting these on the piece of fabric, and you're yes. making your board. And it's just, I mean, so cool. And then when you're done with the game, you put it all nicely and neatly mm-hmm. away. And it fits just perfectly because it's a piece of fabric on the floor. Yep. But Get that later. I, I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. And you'll see that um, on the pictures. So it's really, really cool. Now, this particular one was the deluxe version of the Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. So we also had this um, uh, expansion, which we have not played, to be fair. It's tiny, whoops, tiny epic lanterns. It's probably just, uh, it looks like little lanterns, which is cute. But we don't know how to use this yet, so we're not going to try to pretend. Um, but that's for next time. We'll play that. And then we also, we actually purchased the separate feature, which was the Tiny Epic Tactics Maps Expansion, which are two, two different maps that you can use in place of this one. Um, as far as I can tell, and I read the whole thing, it mm-hmm. doesn't really change the game or, at all. Yeah. It's the same game, but you're in, in a Savage Wasteland or a Winter Highland. It's just prettier maps. Yeah. 
So that's really, as far as I can tell, it's all it can do. Mm -hmm. Now, this game, we played uh, against each other. Yes, we play the competitive mode. So, which is like, if you read through the rules, that's a default way to play. Uh, there's actually five different ways to play. There's, mm. well, Solo has its own rules. So, you there's keep solo talking, mode. I'm eating cookie. <laughs> there's, uh, there's also mm. a uh, cooperative mode. Uh, and then there's a blend of the two. I think it's a blend of the two. It's called a team mode or we team don't, player mode. We don't have people pick team. Well, it's two on two. So you're cooperating with then somebody we else. Friends. And you're beating someone. Yes, you got to have friends in order to play that. Friends. Yes. <laughs> and there's also something called battle mode, which we have not played. We only played one mode. Yes. Co we played the com the competitive mode. That's we might it. try the cooperative mode, though. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe I could talk and I'm included. <laughs> Maybe we'll play the cooperative mode. So, uh, you know, what... There's not a lot of backstory, you know, like some games have a lot of backstory and stuff. There's mm -hmm. not a lot of backstory on this. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, you have a group uh, of units. They yeah, call so, them units. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was chewing. <laughs> I was supposed to say this part, but I was chewing. <laughs> you can chew now. Um, okay, I'll drink. Each person basically has a team of what they call units, okay? And so you get four, for a better word, uh, players mm -hmm. per person. And those players are very RPG-ish. RPG um, you get a fighter. Right? Mm -hmm. You get a, a wizard. Yes. Right? You get a, a rogue. Oh, I, I used to love playing the rogue in, in, in Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. That was, my, that was always my character. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get a beast, a wild beast, yes. which is also on your team. So you get a team of characters, basically. Mm -hmm. And then those characters come in one of four colors green, blue, yellow, red. red. Yep. Phil was red on this one. I was blue. You'll see in the picture review. Um, so that you basically get, you know, four um, meeples, for a better word, yeah. to play with. But then there's this beautiful stack of cards. And these are actually the same thing. There's wizards and you know fighters and whatnot. So you take each group of cards. Like, for example, I might take this group of all of the beast cards, and I would shuffle them up mm -hmm. under the table. That's what it says. And then you take just one out, and you give it to the person. You take one out, and you give it to a person. Yep. So each person gets a different um, you know, player, basically. Yeah. It, basically, you give your own set of stats. Characters, where I'm going with that. that. See, that's what happens when I drink alcohol. I don't even that much. Characters. So, for example, I love this one. This is one of the beasts. His name is Wolf Redhammer. And he looks like a walrus. <laughs> so cute. Um, but the cards are beautiful. Mm -hmm. I must say that the artwork is so adorable. And um, I just love stuff like this. Yeah. So you, each of us get four cards, basically representing all of four of the different types of, of characters we have. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the rest of this uh, bag are just like heart tokens so you to measure your health. There's ammunition tokens to say how much ammunition you have. And there's also a... Um, Mana token, it's the blue one, it's basically only for the wizard, and that's yeah. what they use to cast their spells. Um, so each card, I'll, and again, we'll show you the pictures below, but each card will show health, it'll show um, how many, um, how many, um, what do you call it, uh, mana you. you might have, or how many right. ammunitions you might have. Yep. And you're basically just tracking them on the card. Yeah. Unless you're a beast, then you're just melee. <laughs> <laughs> you may keep punching, or scratching, or... Yep. Mm -hmm. I better stop drinking that. All right. <laughs> Woohoo! The only other thing that's in this bag of tokens and such, and such, <laughs> I, I said and I such. I like that, and such. <coughs> I am still getting over my cold. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's these gray tokens in here. And these are actually what we call weakened. Those are the weakened tokens, yes. Not the weekend. Yes. <laughs> the weakened, um, which will tell you how those are used in just a little while. So those are all yeah. the tokens and the things you get. And then you get three dice that you roll for many different reasons. Mm hmm and then you get these cards. I'm not going to lie. This is the only part of the game I didn't care yeah. for. But this is actually the name of the game. That's So they're kind of the <laughs> focus of the game. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Still getting a little cold. Um, so there's these tactic cards. So think of it like Ticket to Ride. Think of it like a, a goal you have to achieve. Yeah. At the beginning of the game, each player gets two tactic cards. You pick which one you want. You keep it. You know, hide mm -hmm. it from everybody else. And then there's a, a, a deck of cards you can pick from later. But the thing is, like, it tells you, like, all right, so for example, it's an if and then an if and a then. So if this happens, you know, if you climb a wall, I'm making this up, then you get to have an extra point. You know, whatever, whatever it is. I'm making that up as I go here. But the point is, mm -hmm. it's an if and then. So if you do whatever the if is during the course of the game, you can say, hey, I met one of my tactics. Yeah, as soon as you do it. And you then, get to it could even be one another player's going. Yep. And then you could do the then. So for example... Read that one. I can't see. Here, read that one. It's tiny. Uh, let's see. Here's one that says, uh, you move two allies. Oh, I actually used this once. You move two allies through portals in a single turn. And then if you do that, you immediately perform one free melee attack action with any right. one of the allies that you just moved. So, so cool. And you can't counterattack it either. So Very cool. It's a pretty good, pretty I mean, good card. Cool. 
Mm-hmm. My, my problem, my only problem, this is a me thing. It's got nothing to do with the game. The game is very well done. Is when you got these cards, you could, hold, you could only have two of them at one time. I have to remember what they were. <laughs> did I do that? Yeah. Did I do that? And then, you know, especially when you're first learning the game, like, did I do that? Should I? You know. So anyway, yeah. I think I didn't do any tactics during my game. I think you I, did And one. I think I actually won using one of the tactics. So. so my bad, and I will be better at that next time. But, you know, you do have to pay attention to what those are mm-hmm. and try to meet those goals, basically. Yeah. So that was the only thing I didn't like, not like hate, but I just drove me nuts a little bit. Yeah. So what's nice is, though, the turns are very easy. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the goal of the game, okay, is either A, to kill the person's people. <clears throat> yeah. Right? So if, if all of Phil's people die or I kill them all, they, actually, they don't call it kill it. What do they call it? They call it... They call it... Is it knock them out or... They're basically killing them, but they call them... Capturing Capture. the units. Yeah. They're you're captured. Not ki- killing, you're capturing. Yes. Yeah, but you're taking their health to zero. They're pretty much dead. <laughs> yes, that's true. Anyway, so yeah, capturing them. Mm-hmm. So if I capture all of Phil's guys or he captures all of my guys, game's over. Yeah. You know, game's over. <clears throat> that's one way the game can end. The second way is once one of the players um, controls an area... Yeah. So there are three places on the board and the, also the other parts of the board where there's control areas. And you'll see them because they have little flags on them. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's three of those. In a four-player game, all three control areas have to be controlled yes. to end the game. In a three-player game, it's two. Right. And then in a two-player game, you only have to, one person has to get one controlled area. Yeah. <clears throat> and we'll show you in the, again, in the picture playthrough how you get the control of the area and how that all works. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's another way the game can end. Yeah. Then when the game ends, regardless of how it ends, one of those two ways, you get, guess what? Victory points. Victory points. Victory points. <laughs> so the person who gets the control of the area gets an immediate five victory points. Yeah. So that's pretty much how you win is to get that one. Yeah. But then for every... Um, unit that didn't die or didn't get captured, you get mm-hmm. two points each. Yep. And then you get two points for every unit you captured. Yeah. Which is nice. And then the other thing, there's one more thing you get uh, things for capturing units. And you also get points for something else, which I can't remember. But I think, uh, I I think, I think because we didn't get it. <laughs> oh, it was. Uh, oh, if one, you oh, that's right. End on a village. Village. Yes. So there's um, different places on the board called the villages. Mm-hmm. And if you end, if the game ends and you're on a village, you get an extra one point. Yeah. Now you might say, okay, who cares? But the villages are really important because if you're during your course of play, you lose health or you mm-hmm. lose ammunition or something like that. You can go to a village space and yep. you can gain your health back and some ammunition yeah. back. So it's a place you kind of heal, for a better word, oh, and, get, yeah. and gather up some supplies. Yeah. I never got to do that, to be fair. Yeah. So Jane said, if you you know control if you if you control you. an area and trigger the game end, you're probably going to win, but not necessarily because you know let's say you've got one person left, then you know it's, it's very possible that the points could go the other mm. way, even though you triggered the game end. So. Damn, these are good. Yeah, they are good. Yes. You try the chocolate ones? I didn't try the chocolate ones. What kind did I give you? Uh, I think this is like a cinnamon sugar cookie, and it's very good. Mm. And okay, it goes along with the uh, mm. cinnamon drink, That's too. good. Um, so anyway, Tiny Epic t- Tactics, a really fun game to play. Mm-hmm. Phil did win. Fine. Yep. I'll win next time, maybe. <laughs> um, oh, I was going to tell you really quick. So what do you do on your turn? So on each turn, the first thing you do is you see if you have control of an area. Mm-hmm. Second thing you do is you can take up to three actions. with, uh, And you can do one per unit, basically. Well, three, yeah. uh, three of them. Um, but if you have a, a unit, <laughs> I hate they're called units, but a beast, let's say, and you move him on his action, but you want to now attack with, his, with him that action, yeah, you can turn. do it. Mm-hmm. But it has to be a different um, action. But then you have to make him weak. Yeah. And that's what those weakness tokens are all about. So if I decide to use the same character twice in a turn, they become weak. But yep. then the next turn, after your turn is over, one of the last steps is to take off the weak tokens. Yeah. So it's almost like they skip a turn. Yeah. If that works. But if you lose, um, well, if Phil captured one or two of my characters, then the weakness part goes away. Yeah, the weakness part goes away. And if you only have one character left, you can repeat the same action over again, which normally you can't do. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, that, the whole idea is that it changes a little bit as you lose characters. So you got to be careful with that. Yeah. Don't forget those things and whatnot. Um, and then, so after your actions are done, mm-hmm. then you um, actually, uh, what else do you do? You, you pick up a card. 
Yes. You pick up a card. Um, so a tactic card. Now you can only have two tactic cards at any time, but you can pick one up and go, okay, which one of these do I think I can do? Mm -hmm. And then you discard one of them out of your hand if you have more than two. So that's kind of nice. You have options to maybe try to change those tactics. Yeah. Um, and oh, the one part before that that we forgot to say is any weakness tokens get removed yeah. if it wasn't from that turn. Right. So it's pretty easy to play. I don't know if I can remember how to play right now because I... Drinking and things. Good old eggnog here. Oh my goodness. Um, but uh, really cute. And like I said, there's lots of different variants. Now, mm -hmm. I'll just talk really quickly about the, and this is no offense to Gameland Games. I like I love Gameland Games. But the maps expansion, I guess I should have read more about it. I thought it was like an expansion in the fact that it would take the game to another level. Or yeah. There are tons of variants in here already. Mm -hmm. But I thought this was going to be yet another variant. And unless I'm missing something, it really isn't. Basically what it is, and I'll just show you really quick. We didn't show this in the pictures. So... It just gives you, like, this is the Wasteland, Savage Wastelands variant. So all it yeah. is, not actually all it is, but it's nice. It's a new... Another handkerchief. Another handkerchief. <laughs> hey, I could probably put these together and make one big one. Um, so it just has a different look to it. It's a Savage Wastelands, <laughs> right? But then on the boxes, it's like those little insert boxes you have, you would cover them. Hmm. And it's quite, kind of cool, right, if you just want to make it look different. Hmm. So it's like almost like okay. you're, you're wrapping Christmas gifts. <laughs> If you got the right one. If you could do it right. Yeah, yeah I definitely have the right one. Just gonna, see? Now oh, it's the Wastelands. Oh, I see. <laughs> I mean, so it's cute. I mean, it just gives you another look to your game. Yeah. But from everything I read, there's nothing that changes the way the game is played. Yeah. So I mean, it wasn't expensive or anything. It's just It's just nice to have another version, I guess, of looking at the game. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You don't have to buy it if you don't want to. I bought it because I buy everything. I always go for the big one. Like, the give lots. me everything. <laughs> yeah. To Kickstarter. How much is that? Okay, well, we'll try it anyway. So anyway, we, we hope you try this tiny epic tactics. It's a really good game. And yeah. don't forget, um, so let's remind everybody. So today's Sunday. Mm -hmm. We still have two contests open right now. They're both on our Facebook page, polls for Facebook. You go to our Facebook page, you look at the polls area. One is for last month's games. Choose one of the games that we played last month. Or not mm -hmm. played, but well, we did play it, but showed. Yeah. The other one is from Pepion. Isn't yes. that right? Papillon. Papillon, because we had extra copies of that, so that's actually just for that game. So if you didn't watch that video, that was last week's video when I was really mm -hmm. sick. But we yeah. are giving away four copies of that game. Yeah. Um, that we're going to be picking on Christmas. Christmas Day, we're actually going to be picking the winners for the Papillon. Mm -hmm. And then I believe it's the first Sunday of January. I'll double check myself, but look, it'll say it on the contest. We'll be picking the winners from last month's games. Yes. But then we'll post a new contest. So all the games, including Tiny Epic Tactics, it's hard to say fast. Tiny Epic Tactics, Tiny Epic Tactics, mm -hmm. Tiny. It's almost like Tic Tacs, but tactics. <laughs> yeah, that. So, so this will be part of the choices as, as well as Papillon. So anything we played last month, you'll have a choice of for next month to win. So hopefully you guys enter and you win. Mm -hmm. um, anything else you want to say for end of year? Nope. Next show will be 2020. 2020. Ooh, a new decade. Yeah. Ooh. You know what I like? It's like the 20s. Are you going to bring flapper dresses back? Oh, well, that's interesting. I better lose some weight. <laughs> It'll be like the re-roaring 20s. Oh, man, that'd be so re-roaring. <laughs> We're re-roaring the 20s. That'd be really cool, actually. I would mm -hmm. love that, but uh, whatever. Um, but we want to just thank you guys wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. we, know, we know that those of you who have been sticking around with us for a very long time have been probably watching us since the very beginning. Um, a few of you found us new. I got a couple of, of messages last week. Found you this time. Yeah. You know, so, so welcome. If you like our show, we, we appreciate you. We know we don't have a huge audience, but we hope that you keep sharing the videos and maybe making our audience grow. We're not monetized, so it's not a big deal anyway. Yeah. Um, so we're not making money off of this. We're just having fun, and we hope that you enjoy it, and um, hopefully you have fun too, and maybe you win some prizes too. Mm -hmm. So anyway, happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, all those things. Yes. And, and happy New Year, and we'll see you in 2020. Bye. Cheers. I'm going to get drunk now, because I'm off tomorrow. <laughs>